welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. As we are continuing with DAC function playlist, now we are going to see about calculate function. Now this is one of the most widely used function in most of the real time scenarios. Now what is the use of this calculate function? Now in short, if I want to explain in terms of a simple terms, I can say it as a SQL query with a where condition. That is what the calculate function will do. Now, what exactly this calculate function is? So the calculate function will calculate a certain measure. It could be either a sales, profit, discount, whatever it is, with respect to certain filter. So this calculate function is being categorized as a filter function. And now let's see the real time. How can we implement? when there is a requirement for example let's say there is a table and for this table i have a country and i have a sales now so with respect to each and every country we do have certain sales now when i say business segment we do have accessories bikes clothing and components now this four are the main business segments now let us say there is a requirement assuming this business is dealing with the bike sales the bike is the main component to give an example you will never buy an element before buying your bike first you will buy a bike then you will go with the accessories requirements components whatever it is now this data the main component is bike now if someone wants to see a bike sales they have to just click the bike as a filter if they click the bike as a filter it will change if you click accessories it will change if you cl click clothing it will change if you click component it will change now this bike sale is a very important sale and the business wants as a separate column to the existing visual i mean to say this is a total if i don't select anything this is a total sales coming from all the segments but they need a separate column which only gives the bike sales now filter you can use it but every time you should always keep on changing it which is something which i don't want now how can i get a new column to this visual with the bike sales now for that we'll just go and write one simple measure i am going to write bike sales and I am going to use the function called calculate. Now, DAG functions is very easy because it always gets us the syntax what we have to write. Now, we have to write an expression. First term is expression. That is why it is bold, bolded. Now, this ex expression can be any other measure or it can be any aggregate function. My requirement is to calculate bike sales. So the expression becomes sum of sum of bike data of sales. Now this is my expression. Now next the filter. Now what is a filter? I have clearly told you I need a column where the main component is bike. So simply I can go and give it as bike date of business segment equal to bikes now this is what a simple calculate function is it will calculate a total sum of sales where the business segment equal to bikes that is what my requirement is now i have written the measure now i will just drag it to the visual now now with respect to the total sales, majority of the sales is coming from the bike. That is what was a requirement. Rather than using a filter condition, I would have just created a new column by making use of 
this calculate function remember calculate function calculates certain measure where it can be a profit discount cost revenue it could be anything but the segment is going to be bike because i've put the filter here by just applying a where condition filter you can achieve this functionality thank you for watching we'll again meet you in the new video